Tests of Phonological Awareness We know that children develop phonological awareness from bigger to smaller speech sounds. We also know that phonological awareness is important for reading. Difficulties in phonological awareness could also mean difficulties in reading. Therefore, it's important to know how we can test this skill. Children as young as three or four years old could answer simple phonological awareness questions. There are many types of tests. Some are easier or harder than others. When testing for phonological awareness, tests where children have to focus on syllables are usually easier than focusing on the onset rhyme level. Focusing on the onset rhyme level is easier than focusing on phonemes. This also depends on the language or languages that children speak and read. Figure one shows examples of phonological awareness tests where children are given answers to choose from. In the two examples, children need to focus on the rhymes in words. Figures two and three, which is shown on the next slide, show examples of tests where children need to give their own answer. In these examples, children need to pay attention to syllables and phonemes. To understand how these tests work, it is important to experience them yourself. Let's test your phonological awareness. On the Canvas page, you will find an example of a deletion task to test phonological awareness. You could try it at different levels, syllable and phoneme. These levels are important for English. Syllable awareness is easy. Deleting the first sound from a word is easier than deleting the last sound from a word. Deleting a sound from a cluster of sounds, for example, school without the first sound, which is s, is pronounced as cool, is very difficult. Try some of these tasks provided on the Canvas page, but do not worry if you do not get them right. If you are not teaching in English, Think about what sound-related games are important in your language. Here are a couple of suggestions for teaching or testing stress and tone sensitivity in your language. For both, give children two choices and ask which one is correct. For example, sofa or sofa, relax or relax. For lexical stress only, ask children to clap louder on the stressed syllable. For example, banana, umbrella, basketball, tuna fish, delete. Clap louder on the syllable written in capital letters. For lexical tone only, ask children who have learned the number of each tone in tonal languages to say what number it is. In Mandarin, children know that the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 indicate different tones. These are also easy to do in print by underlining the stressed syllable or writing the number above or below each tone.